You know, I have massive respect to BYD. Breaking out a car like this, I believe BYD doesn't just make concept cars. They make them a reality and they do it really, really fast. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of BYD's electric supercar just because it weighs more than a Toyota Hilux. You know, I think that's, it's not really my thing. These, you know, very heavy supercars. It's an impressive tour de force of technology. I mean, when it comes to technology, it's staggeringly awesome. But this, in my opinion, the style of this thing, this is more what I'm into. The sort of more subtle style of this supercar. The new Feng Chang Bao Super 9 looks absolutely unreal. And this is not a plug-in hybrid like a lot of the BYD's vehicles recently. This is a fully electric convertible supercar. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. The Feng Chang Bao Super 9 is a very attractive two-seat electric vehicle with scissor doors. It's going to be an EV and it will be called the Bao 9. Now, that'll be in China. Um, I'm assuming they will probably make these to be sold outside of China as well. I mean, uh, this, is a, this is a real brand statement car. But I don't think they'd call it the Bao 9 outside of China. The car has a dual cockpit. It's very unusual for a supercar to have this and integrated carbon fiber seats. The racing steering wheel looks like um, looks like a Tesla yoke actually, or something from like a Formula One car. And it has, um, you know, racing style buttons from a Formula One car. Um, yeah, but it's kind of matching that with a, you know, this kind of retro looking supercar, which has modern design, um, subtle modern design look to it. It's also got that retro design to it. I, I think it's, um, my first thought was, that's odd. And then I thought, you know what? I quite like it. Feng Chang Bao is BYD's third and newest brand. They launched it last summer. Under that brand, Feng Chang Bao cars, they're mostly plug-in hybrids, to be honest, but this one's clearly not. There's also another brand that BYD have called Yang Wang um, and Denza. So BYD in total now have those four car brands, but Yang Wang, um, Denza, and Fang Cheng Bao. They're all premium brands. BYD is more like the, the cheaper brand. Well, that's the way that they're positioning it anyway. Now, BYD have actually built 70 Fang Cheng Bao stores, according to Car News China, around China. They want to increase that number to 150 this year. The Shenzhen based company um, often will just take over other stores. So, BMW, Mercedes Benz, Aston Martin. Um, Audi, uh, other car brands will leave a store. BYD are saying, thank you very much. And they just move in straight away. They do this very, very quickly. Uh, it's the kind of thing they do where, you know, in Brazil, uh, BYD just went and actually purchased a Ford car factory. They turned into a BYD factory very quickly. They did a similar thing in Spain. Uh, they did other things like that in China all the time. The Fang Cheng Bao Super 9 will likely have the same motors as BYD's electric supercar, which has over 1000 horsepower now like i said that vehicle is very heavy this car to me looks like you know it's probably intended to be a real statement piece for the car in terms of design um, it's not going to be cheap my estimate would be over 250,000 us dollars but honestly i think it's it's great because we need to make, we need desirable supercars. I mean, people look at supercars, kids look at supercars, and they, they kind of look at a supercar and think, you know, that's, that's what I want when I grow up. And they, they dream about things like that. But if we only have, you know, hybrid supercars or internal combustion supercars, there's nothing to really kind of dream about, is there? Because they're not the future. The future is electric. Guys, what do you think of this car? What do you think of the design? The two seat kind of separate seats, I quite like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching.